Hello everyone. This is the video titled as Crack the Gate Exam with Coaching presented by me Mahipal Singh. Now I assume that most of you are the, at the verge of your coaching classes and there are only 15 days left for the exam. In order to get the best utilization of these 15 days, you must make a strategy at this point of time. If you really want to get into IITs or PSUs, be disciplined, be dedicated for the next 50 days. I am Maipal Singh, an alumni of School of Infrastructure, IIT Bhuneshwar. I got AIR 253 in GATE 2014 by doing self-study and got AIR 9 in 2015 GATE by doing coaching at Made Easy Delhi. And these are all the marks that I have got. The big mistake, I have made a separate video on a big mistake that people usually or the aspirants for the GATE exam generally do. I strongly recommend that you do check out this video. It will be really helpful for you. I have already given the link in the description or you can go to my channel and find out this video. It is really going to help you. Just keep this one thing in mind that do not study for the knowledge. Always study for the exam. Knowledge is just a mean, not the end. End is the exam that you are looking for. This video will contain these features. First, it will be uh, differentiating between the good coaching and the bad coaching. Whatever coaching you have attended, you have to make your strategy separately for both the things, whether you were a part of a good coaching or a bad coaching. Now, after you are able to distinguish your coaching, now you have to prepare your strategy for next 50 days according to the type of coaching that you, that you did have the good, how to prepare if you had good coaching, good bad coaching, what books you need to follow, or uh, is there any requirement to make short notes, or you do, uh, do you need to uh, join any online test series or how to revise. These all are the things that I'm going to take up one by one. Now, the first question is that whether your coaching was good or bad. Because your entire strategy is going to depend on only this factor and you have to uh, uh, complement your strategy as per your coaching. So you better know at this point of time. It is very easy to distinguish between the good coaching and bad coaching. All you have to do is pick up any topic. Let's say you pick up strength of materials, read your notes and attempt last 15 year questions. If you are able to solve 80 to 85 percentage question of the last 15 years of that particular topic by using only your notes then your coaching is good and your close your class notes are going to be more than sufficient for your preparation and for the clearing of this exam but if you find that your questions that has appeared in the exams before in the earlier years are not discussed properly in your notes or not part of your notes at all then unfortunately your coaching was not good or uh, i should say it was not up to the standard to make you th through this exam but do not worry, If you, even if you are a part of a bad coaching, all you have to do is to put little extra effort and you will be able to get through this exam. Uh, uh, if you ask me some examples of the good coaching, uh, I would recommend that uh, I, I know these three good coachings, uh, Made Easy, IES Master and AS Academy. Uh, there may be an, uh, any, anywhere else also may be possible that there are some good coachings. So you have to find out yourself that whether your coaching is good or not. Uh, you will find that uh, most of the questions from the good coaching notes, uh, as I mentioned the three, the 80 to 85 percent questions directly or indirectly come from the topics that are discussed in the Made Easy notes or in IES Master notes only. So the strategy for the students studying in the Made Easy and uh, students studying in another coaching will going to be different. Now, if you are, if you get to know that you are a part of a good coaching, then you how to prepare. The strategy will go, uh, going to be as follows. Uh, if you are in good coaching, then you must be having a bulky handwritten notes at this point of time. Good thing is that, that your notes will be more than enough for you to get through this exam. But there is a problem. If your coaching program included GATE and IES both, then your, you must be able to separate IES content at this point of time. And you have to leave the IES content from your notes at this point of time. If you are not able to distinguish between GATE and IES content, then the only way out there is that you have to open the last 15 year questions and 
check out that which of the portions or which of the topics are not part of gate but part of ies and leave them do not waste your time not even a single second to going through the specific ies content you have to make sure that do not waste your time in conventional or subjective questions the gate is the exam in which the problems are having at most two step if uh, uh, the all the problems are going to be finished either in one step or two step so do not waste your precious time that you are you are going to have in next 50 days in solving the conventional subjective lengthy questions at this point of time which is the part of your notes at this point of time so make sure that you do not indulge in ies syllabus and do not get do not uh, waste your time in conventional questions at this point of time now the strategy will be like you have to revise your notes within 40 days no so how you are going to uh, plan your 40 days is as follows that uh, uh, first you have to pick up any particular chapter or particular topic from your subject after revision of each of the chapter which should not take more than 2 or 3 days you you better write down all the important formulas that were part of that particular chapter after after writing down all the formula on a separate sheet mark the all formulas it is very necessary that uh, you remember each and every formula the formula should be on your fingers otherwise you are going to have really tough time in this exam after mugging all the formulas attempt last 15 year questions at this time it is very important that you revise the last 15 year problems again and again because you are going to see 25 percentage of the questions directly from the last year so it does make a huge difference if you are not if you are if you are able to solve last 15 year problems after that you uh, attempt uh, you attempt a test of this particular chapter that you have revised in these 2 3 days you attempt a test from any standard online test series the test series you can join anything but you should uh, you should have to feel the real time environment of the exam and you have to practice the real time uh, exam environment at this point of time for that you have to join a standard online test series and have to give the test chapter wise so this is going to be your schedule for the 40 days for the revision now for last 10 days when after 40 days are over you are left with 10 days now i would suggest that your one revision is over in last 40 days now you should better revise two chapters per day for next 7 days from the notes and write down the basic concepts formulas uh, sorry not write down revise the basic concept formulas and standard formulas from your notes only but uh, try to do this quickly as quickly as possible because you have to revise entire syllabus again in these 7 days so uh, after finishing up in and finish all the chapters finish all your syllabus in the 7 days and give one full syllabus test daily it is very necessary that you are you should start giving the full syllabus test at this point of time on last 3 days after finishing the second revision i would suggest do not get stressed be calm because at this point of time you may feel that you do not remember anything or you may feel nervous but you just you should remain calm at this point of time at this time you should only revise formulas from the separate sheets that you have just made in last 40 days so revise only formulas do not re- try to revise the problems or do not try to revise the concepts because you are not going to forget that if you have revised them properly twice uh, in last 50 days but you may forget the formula so try to revise them at this point of time and at this time also you should give one full syllabus test daily it is very necessary that when you are giving the main gate exam you should not feel unfamiliar to the environment you have to be you have to be as natural as possible and that is only possible if you practice one full syllabus test in last 10 days now uh, how to prepare if your coaching was not bad first i would like to suggest do not feel insecure 
because you can still match to the student of the good coachings problem is that your notes are not sufficient they do not have sufficient content to get through you this exam so the solution is also easy the solution is to make your notes sufficient and the only way to do this is that you should add what is not in there your notes for that i recommend you two books through which by the modification or by taking reference from these two books you would be you should be able to complete your notes and to make up to such standard that you can get through this exam so if you are uh, if you have uh, facing the problem in engineering mathematics then i would suggest that you better go with the made easy book uh, which uh, gate engineering mathematics book it is very helpful book you will be able to get 15 out of 15 marks if you are able to solve this book once i have uh, i have solved this book and i have got 15 out of 15 in my both attempts in mathematics so if you find that your coaching was not good in mathematics then i would recommend that you better solve this book and if you are facing any problem in the core subject then i better suggest that you buy this arihant uh, gate tutor book it is really helpful in or it is really helpful in order to complete your notes when you will complement your notes with the arihant book then i can uh, i i i'm sure that you will be able to last year questions also any topic which you have not understand or which is not being taught to you in your coaching you use arihant book refer that topic and add the important information like the basic concepts the basic formula in your existing notes and complete your notes uh, i uh, i would really really uh, recommend that you should not uh, you should not simply underline the portion in the book itself you should be able to replicate in your notes only so that when you revise it in the second time all the materials you must be having confined in your notes only so you refer this book wherever you feel the problem you get the info understand the concept apply it on the last year problems and understand the concept and put it into your notes that is going to help you to revise second time also so by doing this your notes has been completed and since your notes has been completed now you are as good as good coaching aspirants so now you can also uh now uh, since you have good notes now you can also revise uh now uh, you can also follow the same strategy as that of followed by the good uh, that i have mentioned already uh the same uh, tips that i want to give that do not waste your time in the conventional or subjective questions revise or modify your notes in 40 days only i already told that you have to put extra effort in order to get through this exam at this point of time now finish any chapter in 2 3 days at most to write down all the formulas on a separate sheet mug all the formulas mugging formula is the most important thing in the gate exam more than 30% questions are going to come directly from the formulas so mugging formula is a very important thing attempt last 15 year problems give an online test for any particular chapter that you have done from the any online test series then uh, do the second revision Uh, in seven days as quickly as possible. Give one syllabus test daily in last ten days, and and on the last three days, do not get stressed. Be calm, be confident, because this is the time when you are going to be the nervous. And if you are able to, uh, if you are able to remain confident throughout this examination process, you are going to be on the edge, and you will definitely going to crack this exam. So. this is all from the my side if you have any query send me a message on my facebook page this is the maypal 2929 or you can send me message on my facebook profile also that is uh, maypal 0029 you will find the description uh, you will find the links in the descriptions thank you for your response for the last video which got around 40000 views uh, that video was that crack the gate exam without coaching in 100 days it feels really good to reach out to the thousands of the aspirants if you found this video useful then do share this video with your friends you may help someone to come out from the red zone and you may someone you may drag someone into this uh, green zone if you do not understand what this green zone and red zone is then i have already told you about the 
another video that is the big mistake you better go that video i strongly recommend you should watch that video at least once it's just a two minute video uh all the best thank you again